So I get to introduce yourself. Yeah. So uh, David Killen, I'm the general manager of, we call it the Great Gorge, which is Great Gorge Golf Club, Treescape Adventure Park, and Hef's Hut Bar and Grill. So this course used to be the Playboy Mansion course, or, you know, tell me a little bit about, yeah. I guess, that history. Yeah, so uh, the property was all one mm -hmm. at one time, and uh, in the early 70s, uh, the Playboy organization, Hugh Hefner, uh, commissioned uh, the Fazios to uh, design and build a 27-hole golf course. Uh, there was also a hotel that they built. Uh, the, uh, the tale is that they wanted to have gambling, mm -hmm. and uh, when gambling went to Atlantic City, uh, and they couldn't have it here, then the interest in this property uh, waned for uh, the Playboy organization. But they did run it from the early 70s uh, for seven, eight years. Okay. And uh, then they sold it. And uh, they sold it to a company, it was called the Americana Hotel, uh, but all operated as one unit. Um, and then it, it went through a lot of different ownerships yeah. and uh, eventually um, it was purchased by a gentleman who then separated everything. And so when it sold off, somebody owned the hotel, 47 acres, in the middle of our 550. Was the 27 holes of this golf course, is it the same design that it was originally? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Fazio design, beautiful golf course. Obviously, they had great terrain. You know, the mountains and the valleys. Um, there's three nines here, uh, lake, quarry, and rail. Rail uh, goes along the railroad tracks and actually crosses it in one spot. Uh, the quarry nine, it goes through the quarry. And uh, lake, there's lakes on that nine, as you can imagine. Yeah, I can so, imagine. Yeah, so it's, it's a beautiful golf course. Um, it went into bankruptcy in 2014. Really? And uh, it sat in bankruptcy for two years. And then the co current owners, the Kaufman family, they purchased it out of bankruptcy. And so it has only been running in its second life yeah. uh, it's since 2017. Okay. But the cool thing is, is that most golf courses that close, they never really reopen as golf courses. They open as malls or housing units or you know, different things like that. So it's, um, it's like one, I think the stat is one in 300 golf courses that close even reopen again yeah. as a golf course. So that's a cool story. Yeah. Um, and we like to, you know, kind of Ooh. boast about that, that we have a great place and well. we've kind of revived it from, from the dead. Baby, first hole. Yeah, it's a beautiful place now. Yeah. And I can imagine this, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's a great location. You guys have, you said 500 acres, like yeah. total just 500 acres. Yeah, we have 500 acres here. Yeah. Which is a lot. lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's three different nines, so you never get bored of uh, all the variety in the mountains. So. Yeah, it's good.
I have this cool story where uh, the superintendent of our golf course uh, started working here in 1982. And uh, when the golf course closed in 2014, he left and went to another golf course uh, to work. Yeah. But when the Kaufman family uh, purchased it in 2016, they brought him back. And so it was cool because he was part of this revitalization. Yeah. And he's still with us currently. Nice. And um, so it's kind of like not only did the golf course, you know, rise from the dead, but, you know, Dave was the one that um, had worked here for so long in charge yeah. and then was able to come back yeah. and, and spearhead that um, huge, huge undertaking. Yeah, I can, uh, I can imagine going from you know, way back there with the original design staying yeah. the same too, yeah. and updating it to you know modern aesthetics. And when they when they um, started working on it in 2016, you know there was you know four foot weeds and all the bunkers, like yeah. it was in really bad shape. So it was it's a neat story how he was able to come back and and put it all back together That's into great. what it is today, which is beautiful again. And he's still here. Acas did a great job. And then you have also the, the Tree Escape? Yeah, so Tree Escape Adventure Park. Yeah. It's a ropes course up in the sky. It's an adventure park, uh, you know, obstacle course up in the trees. Uh, and that uh, that's great. You know, yeah. It was built in 2017, um, and uh, just a ton of people come to climb. There's all different levels. It's kind of like skiing. You can go on a green run, and then maybe go to the blue, and then there's a black course, which is kind of difficult. Yeah, man, you won't find me up there. Right. <laughs> But uh, it's good for all ages and uh, for all abilities. Yeah. So people go with their families, cool. you know, couples. We have a ton of school groups that come, camps in the summer. It's a popular place. Yeah. yeah. And then we opened Hef's Hut, which is our restaurant, which was our, you know, kind of, um, a, a lot of the younger generation don't really know who Hugh Hefner yeah. was. And so when we opened it as Hef's Hut, yeah. um, some people didn't understand why we uh, why we named it that, but yeah. so it was uh, for the older uh, yeah. people in our, our um, in our group that they understood it. So, yeah. but it's good. It's a restaurant that we opened, and uh, we've had a lot of success with that also, which is open to the public. Nice. I'm glad that this place is. Uh, I mean, this place is beautiful, and I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we could show it to people too. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad that you guys are succeeding with it too, because in this yeah. area there are a lot of really well-established, you know, beautiful golf courses yeah. that I think are underrated in the grand scheme of, yeah. you know, golf courses. Yeah, we have really good competition. Yeah. But we don't even see it as competition. We see it as, you know, more people come to the area to play golf and they, they also play our, our facility. Yeah. So it's uh, it's good. Yeah, we have six courses that are, you know, within a few miles of us. Yeah. So it's, that, it's, it's like the golf mecca. Yeah, I think it's a, it, in northern think it's New like Jersey. A, a great little golf haven if, you yeah. know, you go for a weekend and you can come here and play yeah. and then you can go to the other place or you can just stay here with yeah. all 27 holes. So, yeah, it's good. It's good variety. Yeah.